it's your great Grandma McCarthy here. I don't know where little Miss McCarthy is, but she asked me here to tell you what you would be working on today. Today you will be working on maps.3.nbt.2 where you will fluently add and subtract with a small hint of comparing numbers. Ta-ta now! Ta-ta! Let her teach you! Bye! Example 1. Um, this is pretty basic. This is just adding and subtracting. Um, this should be kind of a familiar skill with, with second grade, first grade. But uh, let's get to it. So what is the sum of 147, 182, and 98. Sum means that you are adding. So I'm going to add these. And I'm going to make extra sure that I line these up nicely. Okay. All right, now some of you might have trouble adding up three numbers. And so you, what you could do is add two numbers first and then add the sum that you get plus 98 to get your final total. But I'm gonna do it like this. So I see two and eight, those are compatible numbers. That equals 10. 10 plus seven is 17. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. One plus nine are compatible numbers, that's 10. 10 plus 12 would be 22. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4, so my total, my sum, is 427. Nothing else goes in that box. You put your work in your box, you might not get it right. Okay? Here we go with another one. Example 2, find the difference 307 minus 189. Now here I've given you the fact that it's a subtraction problem. Um, some kids think that when it says find the difference, that it means to say like, well, this one has a three in the hundreds place and this one has a one in the hundreds place and that's how they're different. But it's not quite what it's asking for. Um, don't overthink this. Difference means subtraction, so let's subtract them. I don't like it written horizontally, so I'm going to write it vertically. Seven minus nine can't do it, so you need to borrow from next door. You need to regroup, but he has nothing to offer you. So you go here, he says, hey, can I borrow a 10? He says, sure you can. Now I have two, but I've given you 10. Now he says, can I borrow one? He says, sure. Now it's nine and he has 17. So 17 minus nine is eight. Nine minus eight is one. Two minus one is one. I did that right. You can always check to see if you did it right by adding The two, so seven, zero, boom. That's right. Make sure you don't write 307. The difference is 118. And you know what? I'm going to put a link in the description box for a website that you can go to to get some more practice with subtraction with regrouping. Because I know my third graders have, so hard, have a hard time with that. So um, I'll do that for you. Example three, what is the difference, there's that word again, the difference between 1,000 and 343? Difference means what? You're right, subtraction. Good job, you're so smart. Okay, so we have 1,000 minus, make sure you line them up in the correct place values, 343. Now I've got zeros all the way across, so here's the trick for the zeros. Go all the way over. Regroup. He has nothing left. This becomes a 10. He's going to borrow now. That becomes a 9. This becomes a 10. He's going to borrow now. That becomes a 9. And he becomes a 10. 10 minus 3, 7. 9 minus 4 equals 5. 9. I think there's a garbage truck out there. 9 minus 3 equals 6. 657, that is my answer for A. But be careful because with this one, they might you might add them and there's the correct sum, but you're looking for the difference. And here, if you don't line them up correctly, kids might get confused, okay? 
Don't get confused. I put some trickies in there. Example four. Select all expressions that are equal to 341. I don't know what accent that is. Well, this is a multi-select, so that means that there's probably going to be more than one right answer. 3 plus 4 plus 1 equals 8. Don't get confused because you think that you're doing 3 plus 4 plus 1. You're not. That is wrong. 491 minus 150. 1, 4, 3. That's right. 441 minus 10. 431. Careful! Not the same numbers. 4 in the hundreds place 3 in the hundreds place 3 in the tens place 4. They're not the same. 199 plus 142. Um, we got 9 plus 2 is 11. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. And 341. D is the correct answer as well. Now we're adding these up. 0 plus 1, 1. 3 plus 1, 4. 1 plus 1, 2. 241. Yeah. That is all. Okay, so I've got some beef with this last problem. Um, it says, which statements correctly compare two numbers? Well, the benchmark doesn't say, the standard, I'm sorry, doesn't say that you're comparing numbers besides when you subtract them and you're finding the difference between them, which I guess is the connection here. But there's no specific, like, using inequality signs to compare numbers. But they gave you an example of one in the test item spec, so therefore I'm going to make sure that I go over one of these with you. Okay. So... We've got four, we're comparing the numbers. So I've got four and four, they are the same. So we are moving on. Two and one, they're different. This one is greater, but the alligator mouth, the greater the sign is pointing towards this one being greater, which is false. Okay, four and four, they are the same. So we're moving on. Two and one, this one is greater. And yes, this one, the alligator mouth, that's how you remember it is going after that one, so this one would work. Four, four, they're the same, moving on. Two, one, no, this one is greater, not equal to. Here, 412 is not greater than 421, and here, 412 is less than 421, so B and E are your answer. You know I can't leave without a motivational quote for you. So, here it is. I think I say so a lot. What was I going to say? What do I want to leave you with today? Oh yes! Wake up with determination and go to bed with satisfaction. Wake up determined to be successful and then when you go to bed, you know you've done everything you can. You've been as awesome as you could be the whole day. It feels good, people. It feels good. So do it. Bye.